this is Lily coming to you live from CES, and I have a very special guest here. Hi, I'm Christina Cabetta. Thank you so much for having me. I, I work at Quancast, and I'm the Global Vice President of Marketing. Um, can you tell us a little bit about what Quancast is? Sure, so Quancast has an audience measurement solution and an advertising product. We help websites and apps understand who's coming to their site and their properties. And then we help big brands understand their best customers and help them reach them uh, more so online. That's so cool. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how science and, te and technology plays into your company? Absolutely. So actually, uh, Quantcast is one of the top five data processing companies in the world. So we are actually uh, very much considered a big data company. Uh, we, are, uh, we are founded by engineers, um, and we are processing and measuring lots of data every single day, every second. Um, and we are applying what's called artificial intelligence to that to understand patterns of behavior and project audience demographics from that. That really help if you own a website or if you started an app, we could help you understand who your, what your audience looks like, who comes to your site. Uh, so you can better curate the content on it and to tailor it for that audience. And if you are a big brand and selling, selling products or just trying to reach your customers, we would also be able to help you understand here's who's best engaging with your products and your services and then we can help you find more people like that through our big data and technology products. That's really amazing. And um, what advice would you give to young people or girls who want to get into engineering or technology? Sure. So I would say um, STEM or not, I would encourage you to um, think really big about the impact you want to have on the world uh, for your generation and generations to come. I would think about, you know, what's one problem in the world you wish you could solve? Or what's one thing you wish the world had that it doesn't? And then I would say, think really big about that. Just let your daydreams run away with you um, and then see where they go, where you like spending your mental time you know, daydreaming about. Um, and then really try to find people who uh, support you and who are really in your corner and who are gonna root for you. I think um, you know, all, the, all the most successful people, um, everyone, they've all run into people who have told them that they couldn't do something or that they weren't, you know, they didn't have the right qualifications or they doubted them. That's normal for anyone, male, female, um, STEM or not. But I think the people who are really successful didn't let that stop them. They continue to work really hard and they surround themselves with people who believe in them. And I think in the end, that's what really makes the difference. So that, that's, what I would, that's what I would recommend. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me.